MySQL or PostgreSQL? That is the question. MySQL or PostgreSQL? Both are excellent relational databases. Let's say you approach a new project, which one should you choose? Especially if you, you don't already have one of them already in use. Let's explore all the key considerations here. Storage formats and scalability. MySQL employs a row-oriented storage format where data rows are stored contiguously on disk. This is efficient for workloads that retrieve entire rows or a large portion of columns. However, for queries that only need specific columns, significant I.O. overhead can occur as unnecessary data is read. Scaling primarily relies on horizontal sharding, where data is distributed across multiple servers based on a sharding key. This can become complex to manage as the number of shards grows. PostgreSQL offers both row-oriented and column-oriented see store, storage. Row storage behaves similarly to MySQL, but adds flexibility with Toast, the oversized attribute storage technique, for large objects. Introduced in version 11, see store allows selective retrieval of specific columns, significantly improving query performance for analytical workloads that target a subset of columns. This optimizes storage efficiency and reduces I.O. during these queries. Scaling in PostgreSQL can leverage both sharding and vertical partitioning. Partitioning splits tables based on a defined criterion, e.g. date range, enabling targeted queries on specific partitions, further enhancing performance for large datasets. SQL syntax and developer experience. MySQL adheres mostly to the ANSI SQL standard, offering developers a familiar syntax and facilitating code portability. However, some extensions and deviations might exist, requiring additional attention during migration or code reuse. PostgreSQL, fully ANSI compliant and offers numerous extensions, providing advanced functionality and flexibility. While this empowers developers for complex tasks, it can lead to code that relies on these extensions and might not be readily portable to other systems. Additionally, the extensive feature set of PostgreSQL can require more configuration effort compared to MySQL. Plugins and ecosystem. MySQL offers a limited selection of plugins catering to basic needs. PostgreSQL boasts a rich ecosystem of plugins providing advanced functionalities like PostGIS enables geospatial data handling and analysis. PG State Activity provides detailed monitoring of database activity. PG Crypto implements robust cryptographic functions. Additional plugins address various requirements like full text search, data archiving, and more. This extensive plugin ecosystem empowers developers to tailor PostgreSQL to their specific project needs. APIs and programming languages. Both databases provide well supported APIs, e.g., ConnectorJ for MySQL, JDBC and LibPew for PostgreSQL, and compatibility with major programming languages, Java, Python, PHP, etc. Evaluate the preferred tools and frameworks within your development team. High availability and fault tolerance. MySQL primarily relies on replication master-slave for high availability. In this model, writes are directed to the master server, which then replicates changes to slave servers for read-only operations or failover purposes. While effective, it introduces a single point of failure at the master server. PostgreSQL offers more flexible replication options including Master-master replication enables read-write operations on both masters, providing high availability and load balancing. Synchronous, asynchronous replication allows fine-grained control over data consistency between the primary and replica servers. Additionally, PostgreSQL allows for more advanced failover configurations, enhancing fault tolerance and minimizing downtime. Ease of maintenance and growth. MySQL generally has a simpler setup and management process, requiring less configuration effort initially. However, for high-scale projects with intricate requirements, MySQL might necessitate additional tools and processes to manage complexity as the database grows. PostgreSQL, the rich feature set and advanced functionalities demand more configuration and potentially steeper learning curve compared to MySQL. However, this upfront investment pays off in the long run for high-growth complex projects. The data integrity features, data type richness and extensibility of PostgreSQL make it a robust choice for applications that anticipate significant data volumes and intricate data. Manipulations. Additional considerations. Community and support. Both databases have large and active communities. 
While MySQL enjoys a broader user base, PostgreSQL's community is known for its technical expertise. Cost. MySQL offers a free, community-supported version, while PostgreSQL is entirely open source. For commercially supported options, consider pricing models from vendors like Oracle, MySQL, or enterprise-grade PostgreSQL distributions. Existing infrastructure. If your project leverages existing tools or frameworks that are heavily tied to one of these databases, that might influence your decision. Key considerations for high-scale projects. Scalability. Both MySQL and PostgreSQL offer horizontal scaling sharding to distribute data across multiple servers. However, PostgreSQL adds vertical partitioning, allowing you to split tables based on specific criteria for improved query performance on large datasets. Storage format. MySQL uses a row-oriented format, which excels in read-heavy scenarios. PostgreSQL's C-Store option, introduced in Valeven, can optimize queries that target specific columns, particularly beneficial for analytical workloads. Evaluate your access patterns to make an informed choice. SQL syntax. PostgreSQL adheres more closely to the ANSI SQL standard, ensuring greater code portability across platforms. Consider your team's familiarity and the importance of maintaining future compatibility. Plugins. PostgreSQL's extensive plugin ecosystem offers additional functionality like PostGIs for geospatial data or PG state activity for advanced monitoring. Choose the database that best aligns with your project's specific requirements. APIs and programming languages. Both offer well-supported APIs and compatibility with major programming languages. Evaluate the tools your development team is most comfortable with. High availability. PostgreSQL's flexible replication options, including master-master and synchronous, asynchronous configurations, provide more robust high availability solutions for critical applications. Ease of maintenance. MySQL's simpler setup might be an advantage initially, but PostgreSQL's advanced features might require more configuration effort in the long run. Growth. PostgreSQL's data integrity features complex query support and data type richness make it a strong contender for projects anticipating significant data growth and intricate data manipulations. Data types. If your project involves specialized data, e.g. geospatial network addresses, PostgreSQL's broader data type support might be advantageous. Recommendations. For mostly read-intensive workloads with moderate complexity and a simpler setup preference, MySQL could be a suitable option. For high-scale applications with complex queries, data integrity requirements, potential for columnar storage optimization, and anticipated growth, PostgreSQL presents a compelling choice. If your project needs advanced features like geospatial data handling, PostgreSQL offers dedicated plugins. Additional considerations. Community and support. Both databases have large and active communities, but MySQL's broader adoption might lead to more readily available support resources cost. MySQL has a free, community-supported version, while PostgreSQL is entirely open source. For commercially supported options, consider pricing models from vendors like Oracle, MySQL, or enterprise-grade PostgreSQL distributions. Existing infrastructure. If your project leverages existing tools or frameworks that are heavily tied to one of these databases, that might influence your decision.